How to contour a round face with bronzer. It's so easy. If you have a round face like me, I'm going to show you how to contour your face only using bronzer to make your face look slimmer. It's so easy. At Kathy Over 50, I share easy everyday makeup and lifestyle videos for the woman over 50. I'm using only a bronzer today to contour my face. The difference between contour and bronzing is bronzing is you just want to bring warmth to your face as if you had just got in from a nice day at the beach where the sun has kissed your face all over. Contouring is whenever you want to create the illusion that your face is slimmer. There are contour kits that you can buy, but here at Kathy Over 50, you know that I like to keep things simple and easy. So I'm just using my it Cosmetics bronzer today. I'm going to share three brushes with you that I switch out and use to contour my face. I don't particularly care for the rectangular contour brushes. I've tried them in the past and I just don't like using them, so I feel much more comfortable using one of these three brushes that I'm about to show you. The first brush that I use 90% of the time is this dual-ended brush by Hourglass. The reason that I like it is that the ends are very small. They are perfect for contouring, but also for applying blush. So I really love this brush, and this is the brush that I will be using in today's demonstration. But I wanted to show you two other brushes at two different price points that I also use. The first one is the It Cosmetics Ball Wand Brush. This brush can be used for bronzer or for powder. But if I use it whenever I'm contouring, I simply just take the end of the brush just to make it uh, thinner looking so that I can get into the hollows and create that illusion. And if you want something that's a little more budget friendly, I also like this blush brush from Real Techniques. I believe it's under $10. Same idea, just squeeze the end of the brush and then you can just get in and create your contour. So if you're excited to see me create the illusion of a slimmer face, please give this video a like and subscribe before we get into the video. The first area that I'm going to contour is the cheeks. You want to imagine an imaginary line from the tip of your ear to the corner of your mouth. And this is where I put my contour. If you were to suck in your cheeks, you could see my cheekbones. And see that is where the, uh, the contour goes. I start at the tip of the ear and I work my way down. I want to apply most of the color here in the corner closest to my ear and I never go past the outer corner of my eye. If I go past that, it just drags the face down because as we age, our face droops a bit. So we wanna lift everything up. So the bronzer that I like to use is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pore Bronzer. It's a really nice bronzer. It doesn't like turn yellow or orange on me. And I just wanted to show you, it has a nice mirror but it also comes with this little brush. You could always use this brush as a contour brush if you wanted to. I'm taking the smaller end on this brush and I'm just uh, putting a little bit of bronzer on and then I'm just going to dab it on. And I just like to build it up. Because we are doing contouring, we want it to be a little darker. So if you had a contour kit, like the contour shade would be darker than this. But like I said, I just prefer to have like many uses for a product. And as you see, I'm just stopping at the outer corner of my eye. I'm just taking the brush and I'm just going to buff it upwards. You can see that it has already created the illusion that this side of my face is slimmer. The reason why I like to use a bronzer is because I have tried contour palettes in the past and they just kind of look like dirt sitting on my face. So that's why I just like to use a bronzer, you know, a one and done product and it works perfectly. I'm going to do half of my face to show you the contour side and then uh, we'll compare the two sides. Now you can also contour your temples I don't really do it because my hair is always down over my forehead, but if you were going to, you would just like put some there, right in the hairline, like beside the hairline and just buff it in good. 
And then the other thing you want to do is I have a double chin, so I want to try and create the illusion that it, it doesn't exist. So you want to go like you're underneath the bone. Just to like draw a line. Make sure you're underneath the bone. Do not go on the bone. You want to be underneath. And then just pull it down. You want to really blend that in, otherwise you're going to look like you have a dirty neck. So can you see the difference? This face, side of the face looks a lot slimmer and chiseled. Now I'm going to show you the trick that I always do with my blush before I go ahead and do the other side of my face. And I'm using a drugstore blush and this is by Milani and it is their number one romantic rose. If you're interested in seeing this makeup look, I did my first ever drugstore get ready with me. So I will link the video in a card here and you can go check it out. So how I like to apply my blush, I'm just using this uh, French Boutique blush by It Cosmetics. You can also use the Real Techniques blush brush. I like this one though because it's it has an angle to it. So whenever I put my blush on, I don't put it on the apples of my cheek because as you age, like I said, your face droops. So if I was to put it there, like just looking normal, my blush would be down here. So we want to lift everything up. So I'm just going to stamp it, see, in line with the outer corner of my eye and just above the contour. I'm not going on the contour. I'm just going to stamp it like right there. But then I pull it up. I always like go up beside the eye like an apostrophe or a comma. I just like to do that because I just find that it helps to slim the face as well. I'm not used to this blush, so I'm not sure how much I have to put on, but there you go. Doesn't this side of the face look a lot slimmer? So let's go ahead and we'll do the other side. So again, starting at the outer corner of the ear and we want to stop in line with the outer corner of the eye. And then we're going to blend it up towards the ear. And then we'll go and do the temple. Which you never see on me, so I never do it. And then underneath the jaw, there's the bone. You don't want to go on the bone. You want to be on the other side of it. So you want to be on the side where the neck is and then just pull it down. Really taking your time to blend down because you don't want a dirty looking neck and you want it to look very, very natural. And just a tip, if you feel like you get too much on your neck, just take a big fluffy brush and just like sweep it. And that usually uh, buffs everything in. So now we're going in with the blush and we're just going to stamp it above the contour and up. I'm stopping pretty much like in line with my eyebrow. You can see the line of the contour. You can see the line here. So now for a bonus, I'm just going to take the fluffy brush. I'm just going to dip it into the, um, the bronzer. I'm just going to go down my nose, the tip of my uh, chin, and then just sweep it across the cheeks like that just to finish my look. If you found my contour video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more easy everyday beauty and lifestyle videos. And be sure to go check out my easy tight lining video where I show you how to tight line if you have difficulty with it. It's really changed tight lining for me and it has made it so much easier. Thanks so much for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.